At a joint press briefing with French President Emmanuel Macron on Thursday, President Joe Biden was confronted by a reporter about his failure to negotiate a better contract for rail workers. Biden signed legislation on Friday for a new contract between railroad companies and labor unions to avert a nationwide rail strike. This ended months of debate over a potential walkout that could shake the economy as it gears up for the holidays. Biden has consistently claimed to be a huge supporter of unions, but the bill failed to get seven-day sick leave for freight rail workers. This failure has seen him receive unusual criticism from unions and progressive liberals who claimed it is a selling out of working people. Uh, I question for you about Ukraine. But first, uh, President Biden, um, do the freight rail workers deserve more than one day of paid sick leave like millions of Americans have? And if so, why didn't you negotiate for that when you were helping to negotiate that contract that you now want Congress to impose? I love you guys. I negotiated a contract no one else could negotiate. The only thing that was left out was whether or not it was paid leave. You know I've been trying to get paid leave, not just for rail workers, for everybody. But that other team, they called the Republicans, they voted against it. They said we couldn't do it. We're one of the few nations in the world that don't have paid leave for our workers. And so what we're doing is we can't afford to have, and by the way, in the meantime, they got a 43 for 45 percent increase in salary, et cetera. There's a lot of good things that happened in that. And in fact, this shuts down over the question of one to five paid or seven or nine, whatever the numbers would be negotiated of paid leave days. It's going to immediately cost 750,000 jobs and cause a recession. And so what I've made it really clear is that what was negotiated was so much better than anything they ever had that it's worth. And they all signed on to it, by the way. There are only four unions that, out of the 13 or 14 that didn't agree. So the majority at the time it was that I presented it, they asked me to do it. I presented it. They all signed on. But here's the story. It doesn't mean because we are going to pass this, God willing, uh, on by Friday, uh, by the time, the, the, by, by the weekend, that uh, we're, I'm going to back off a of paid leave. I made it really clear I'm going to continue to fight for paid leave for not only rail workers, but for all American workers. I, I imagine it may surprise some of our European friends that there's no paid leave in the United States of America. We're one of the few major countries in the world that don't have it. And it's about time. And so that's the context in which this all took place. And, uh, and uh, you know, and Labor signed on to it as well, as you recall, initially. There were four unions out of the, I think, 13 or 14 that didn't like it. And, uh, but I think we're going to get it done, but not within this agreement. Not within this agreement. We're going to avoid the rail strike, keep the rails running, keep things moving, and I'm going to go back and we're going to get paid leave, not just for rail workers, but for all workers. President Macron, um, he